Welcome to Skype, S-K-Y-P-E, if you've never heard of it. I'm right now at the Skype homepage, skype.com. And I'm just going to give you kind of an overview of what this is all about. If you haven't heard of Skype, it is pretty much the world's largest uh, webcam video conferencing software. There have been lots of video conferencing software over the years, you know, Windows Live, Yahoo Messenger. Um, there's been a lot of them, but Skype has, over the past couple of years, really grown to be the one that's been the most reliable and the most widespread. And so that's the one I'm featuring here today. Skype is a really great way to connect your class with places around the world. Um, whether it's just across the county, across the state, across the nation, across the globe. Um, Skype is a good way to have a face-to-face -face connection for your students. Before I get started on actually downloading Skype and showing you how to create an account, I want to show you two resources you can use to connect. This is a really cool resource. It's called skypeanauthor.wetpaint.com. What you've got here is a bunch of authors that are willing to Skype into your classroom and speak to your students. If you click on the list down here, it'll show you the author, what they've written, what kind of audiences they want to do, available times, uh, what kind of cost it takes to get them there. And I will say I've had some really good experiences with this. Uh, the authors that come in usually do a really good job and it's a lot cheaper to Skype them in than to have them come to your building and it really opens up a whole new world to your students especially if their favorite authors on here so check that one out another one I've done videos on ePals if you look search the site for ePals uh, it's a really good way to connect your class with other classes around the globe and so I encourage you to connect via ePals and hopefully get to a spot where you can connect via webcam on Skype all right, so let me come back to Skype, and I'll just show you how to kind of join up and get downloaded in this video. It's real simple. All you're going to do is, and from Skype.com, go to Join Skype. And you're going to need an account to get started. So it's going to ask you for general account information, name, birthday, password. You've got to do the uh, verification here. And they'll send you a verification email, and then it'll allow you to download the program. Once you create an account, it'll download the program right onto your computer. And I just want to show you what that looks like. So I've already got the program downloaded on this computer. I'm just going to go and start it up and show you what it looks like when it starts up. The first time you start Skype, it'll probably give you some welcome screens um, and kind of help you get started. It'll walk you through the setup process. But I'll show you that here in a second. Alright, so I'm going to put in my Skype name, at text Steve, put in my password, sign in. And there's the sound it makes whenever you uh, Skype in. Now one thing that I didn't mention is Skype can also be used to make international calls. Um, I haven't used that portion of it very often. I did a couple years ago. I don't really need it, uh, but you can check that out if you want to. Alright, I do want to show you this welcome screen though. This is the welcome screen. It's going to help you get started, learn how to make calls, check your sound, find your friends. You can do this right here if you'd like. I'm going to show you some of those things here in just a minute. All right, so here we are. We're inside the program. In the next video, I'm going to show you a little bit about how to work on your profile, how to change how your profile looks, uh, some of the nuts and bolts on how to make calls, how to set up the audio and the video, and things like that. So that'll be the next video, The Basics. Mm -hmm.